Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you something that I have never done before on this channel and that is make shower gel. This is a product that I've always wanted to make. So I spent some time formulating a recipe, researching all of the ingredients that I wanted to put into it, making several batches until I got to the consistency that I was looking for. So in today's video, I will be showing you all of the steps. So if you are interested in watching that magic happen, then keep watching. Okay, so for this batch, it's going to be a really small batch of uh, body wash. I'm gonna make about 100 grams of this shower gel. Super excited. So the first thing I'm going to do is combine my surfactant phase ingredients. We're gonna be using a mix of surfactants here, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that all into this container. This is Bioturge AS40 surfactant. I'm also filming stuff on my phone because I I'm trying to be better at TikToking, and uh, oh, you know what? Instead of pouring into there, I'm gonna use a brand new container, BRB. And I have been trying TikTok on and off for a couple years, and kind of got into it, then stopped getting into it, and now I'm really into it, and I am starting to see a glimmer of success on that platform. So this was the Cockamoodle Probabitane. This is a surfactant that I use a lot. And it's a really great surfactant because it plays well with a lot of different ingredients. And the next thing I have, my next ingredient is called cocoa glucoside. And this surfactant is a little gooier than the other stuff. I only need one gram of it. So let's get a little bit on my spatula here and just see how much this, there we go, perfect. Wow, that is some thick. Stuff. These are my surfactant ingredients all combined. I'm going to set them down over here and then now I'm going to add to this container all of my group B ingredients. The first ingredient in my group B is some distilled water. There we go. And then next we are doing some glycerin. And glycerin is really great for keeping moisture on your body. With all these surfactants, there is a tendency to strip the skin of its natural oils, and you really want to find a way to keep that as intact as possible. So that is where glycerin comes in. The next ingredient is cucumber extract, and it is liquid form so that it incorporates with all of these liquids. We're only using a little bit of it. Our next ingredient is peg six. Caprolic capric triglycerides. And what PEG-6 does, it's similar to what glycerin does. It acts as an emollient that keeps moisture on your skin. Next, we are going to be adding our preservative. And our preservative today is Liquid Dermal Plus. You absolutely want to be using a preservative for this recipe, um, namely because of the water that's in it. And if you skip this step, you are really running the risk of having mold grow on your products. And I am a fan of shelf stable products that don't grow mold. So this step is absolutely necessary. And last for our fragrance, we're using bergamot and clary sage from Mo Rouge. And I reached for this one because it is a beautiful springtime scent that smells so refreshing. And that these types of refreshing fragrances I think work best in body wash. So now that we have added all of our ingredients, I'm going to give this a nice little stir and we are missing our last ingredient and that is our thickener. And today's thickener for our shower gel is called Crothix and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And Crothix is a really great thickener for shower gel. It really gives it an amazing consistency, that gel-like consistency that shower gels are known for. That is all mixed up, and now we're gonna be adding our Rothix. So for today, we are using it at 3%, and it's pretty thick on its own. It does have the consistency of glycerin. You can already tell that this mixture is getting a little thicker. So I have been mixing this for the past few minutes, and it is thickening up nicely. And now I'm going to measure the pH of this. And it's reading high 
at eight. So we are going to have to adjust that pH down by using a citric acid and water solution. So to make the citric acid and distilled water solution for pH adjustment, it is just equal parts distilled water and citric acid. So for a mild body wash, ideally we want that pH to be closer to 5.5 and that's why adjusting the pH is so important. Otherwise this body wash will feel very drying on the skin. So we have most of our citric acid granules dissolved in our solution and we're just going to be adding it to our body wash. So we're just gonna be adding a few drops and then testing just a little bit at a time. So we have the pH adjusted here at 4.5, which I'm fine with, but ideally 4.5 to 5.5 is what you're aiming for when it comes to a body wash. So now that some time has gone by, you can really see how thick the Crothix has made this body wash. Now the next step is to add some color to this. And for color, I'm going to be using water soluble dye. I do not want to use mica because micas are not water soluble and over time will settle to the bottom of the bottle, which I don't want since I intend on maybe selling this at some point. So water soluble dyes are a great solution because they disperse in water beautifully and whatever liquid you color with that dye will stay that color and it will be a uniform color and be shelf stable. And because this is a bergamot scent, I want the color to reflect that. So we're just gonna use the tiniest bit of apple green, literally just a crumb, to my body wash. And then stir that right in. See, even this might have been too much because it's very green. So here is our gel so far. What we're going to do next is to just let it sit overnight. We're gonna cover it with a little bit of saran wrap and then just leave it alone and see what this looks like tomorrow. So this is how the gel turned out and you can see that it's really cleared up and thick into that nice shower gel consistency. And now all that there's left to do is to bottle this and to test it out. So for packaging, we are using this 100 milliliter bottle and to get it in there easily, I'm gonna put a funnel in there and we're just gonna pour this right in. I didn't make quite enough to fill this bottle, but that's okay. This guy's just gonna be for Kale and I, and we are going to test out this shower gel and show you how it performs. So there it is, my version of shower gel. I love, love the shower gel so much. It is so gentle on the skin, and after we rinsed off the shower gel from our hands, we couldn't help but notice how moisturized our hands still felt, and something like that is so important when it comes to our soaps and shower gels. You really don't want it to be drying or stripping your body. So I'm really glad I was able to formulate a recipe that was perfect for my skin type, and I'm pretty sure other people's skin types as well. So if you're interested in the recipe and the ingredients and learning a little bit more about this project, you can head over to my Patreon where I have all of that over there. And speaking of my Patreon, thank you to my patrons. You guys are so amazing and lovely. Your support means everything to me, especially these guys, my bubble BFFs. These guys are just so sweet and your feedback has been so helpful for both my Patreon and this YouTube. So thank you to all of you. I appreciate your support so much. If you have attempted to make shower gel before, please leave a comment down below. And if you learned something, give this video a big like. And if you wanna see more, then please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification icon so that you never miss a video. So that is it until the next video. Keep smiling, keep being awesome, keep making beautiful, amazing things like shower gel, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Sure. <sighs>